if you're building a presentation and you want to show um, some sort of data by state where you want the states to gradually increase in in uh, darkness based on whatever data you're putting in so a lot of times you'll see this in newspapers and different PowerPoint presentations and I'll show you an example of what I mean here so if we just put in the numbers 1 through 50 for all the US states which I have here in postal code on the left and hit create map the biggest numbers get the darkest shade of blue whereas the medium uh, level numbers get a slightly light, lighter blue until you get almost to a, a clean white for the lowest numbers um, you can do this using Excel as you can see I've done it myself um, but it is a very time consuming process so I've actually uh, got this very thing for sale for five dollars on my website which I think is a, a very affordable price especially since some of the uh, commercial versions are like in the thousands of dollars um, granted they do way more things but um, I have been looking for this for a long time so I decided just to try to create it myself and I pieced together different um, things on the web to create it um, through different tutorials and stuff so hopefully this helps but I'm gonna walk you guys through it if you determine that it's too time-consuming or painful to do the same thing you can go ahead and just go to condensedmba.com and I'll put a link in the show notes to where you can purchase this um, I presently have the US all of Europe by country and Africa by country and I plan to do many more uh, moving forward so if you have any map needs um, with this type of thought process behind it um, you can probably eventually find them at that site at one point so I'm gonna go ahead and delete the directions here so you can see some of my formulas that I've hidden just to make it look a little cleaner and we'll go ahead and format these I presently had them have them formatted to be completely uh, not non visible. But let's go ahead and make them visible here. And then there's a couple more lines of functions down here. I don't remember how many. Let's format these as well. Whoops. So here the basic premise is we have a US state map and the difficult thing here is you have to find one where every single state is its own picture so this is very time consuming if it doesn't if you can't find it online you have to actually get a map and then outline these and it's just a pain in the button it's extremely time consuming um, and there's some out there that you can purchase um, that are built like this um, but regardless here is the first need is a state map individual states and then you have to go in and name every state something unique and I've named them by their postal codes and then states that have multiple little islands or multiple parts you need to group them and then name them as one name once you've done that, um, you need to assign a value. And because I wanted to work with four shades of blue, I worked in quartiles. So these cells here look at any inputs that the user makes and puts it into four separate quartiles so that I can then do an if then statement and assign a one, two, three, or four to the amounts that the people put in and the biggest numbers are in the fourth quartile the smallest numbers will be in the first quartile and this equation here automatically assigns that value and then to make the actual colors change you have to do a little VBA code which tells Excel where to look and then what uh, shape to change so in this case it says look at D2 to tell it what to change the Alabama picture too and then you have this if then statement that tells it what color and transparency to make it based on the value and now the not difficult thing but that VBA code needs the number to be a um, a non equation number so even though this produces one through four from an if then statement 
that particular VBA code cannot recognize this as a, as a number only because all it sees is this big long equation. So you have to copy and paste it as a value over here. And basically what this button is is a macro that does that for you. So as soon as you hit create map, it highlights whatever's in this row and then pastes as a value in this column. And that's what the uh, VBA code is looking at. And that's why we have this D2 Alabama is the same here. D2 Alabama, D3 Alaska, D3 Alaska. This C column here is actually uh, completely unnecessary. I just uh, thought I was going to use percentages uh, when I first started and I decided it would be better to use this format here so I could actually delete this but it was already in there and it would be a pain in the butt to change all of the VBA code. Um, and the problem with the VBA, B, blah, 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 VBA code is also you have to um, do that same if else statement for 50 iterations because you have 50 different states that you have to reference. Um, then next if you want the labels which I have another version that's three dollars that doesn't generate the number if you just want it strictly to be color based. This is a little text box that you make the actual text box equal the value the person puts in. And so you have to do this again 50 times and then some of these northeastern states were so small you had I had to create text boxes that also included the state names that you knew which they were pointing to. And then you have to group all of these arrows and text boxes together so when the user clicks on this box to, to put in their presentation or wherever they're going to put it it highlights the entire thing and then to give the user a uh, auto populated legend I've put the four colors or a close representation of the four colors that exist within the map and then I use a concatenate function with the round function off of these cells here so it automatically gets populated with the range that is depicted by each one of these colors. Um, one final thing I did and this was just because I didn't know uh, the size of their, each individual piece of data that people were going to put in so for instance if they were doing populations and these numbers were in millions and the numbers were let's go ahead and just change that to be a really big number and this to be a really big number add another zero here if we go ahead and create map this kind of gets ugly or at least I think it's a little um, confusing or not very pretty so if you wanted to just say in the title that these are in millions, you could divide all your numbers by millions and it kicks it down to the millions value. Um, and then if you make a mistake, you can multiply by 10 all the way up until the original value. And you can do this by different um, factors of 10. You can also change the units so if we wanted to do dollars, like GDP per person in the state, you can change this to whatever um, uh, format you want here. And then um, finally I created a little macros for font size. So if you did want to keep the entire number, but you just wanted it to be a little bit smaller so it would stay self-contained within the state, you click those buttons there. So as I mentioned, it's a fairly time-consuming process. It's very doable, um, but if it helps out, I have uh, in the show notes the link to where to purchase this. Again, this one here is five dollars. There's one with uh, no labels or you know no the numbers don't push through onto the state uh, for three dollars. And I have other regions of the world, and I'm going to be continuing to make these because once you've built one, it's a little easier to make more but it's still time consuming so hopefully this helps for those of you that are um, hungry to take on this yourself if not visit condensedmba.com and uh, get it for five bucks and just have your presentation ready in, in seconds thanks a lot for watching I hope this helps